including former Proteus opener Lutz Bosman, spinner Pat Simcox and legendary batsman Daryl Cullinan, and in most recent uh, years, uh, Reza Hendricks. However, women's cricket in the province has failed to reach the same or even similar heights. The women's game in the province seems to be lagging behind when it comes to developing and producing players for provincial and national teams. A week ago, Cricket South Africa announced an emerging pro-tier women's squad to take on the emerging Bangladesh cricket team. Not a single player in the squad is from the Northern Cape. According to this coach, the province has the talent to take on the country's best. But an unhealthy bias towards men's cricket is hampering progress. There's more drive into, into men's cricket. Um, I think women's cricket is up and coming. I think they're just as talented as the men. I think they offer a lot that the men offer as well. It's because I do think our province has talent. I don't think we lack in talent anywhere. I just don't think we play in, in, in the right platform. I don't think we play in the A-leagues. That's where one of our downfall is. Some female players echoed these concerns. When we get to your high school, your club cricket and that, they're already there. Because there is a level where I feel the boys get more exposure than what we currently dealing with. We are struggling in fact to find girls and women playing cricket mm. because some of them they will come and then be discouraged to see that uh, some of us who are in the in the provincial team are not pushing as hard as we are supposed to. Northern Cape Cricket insists 2019 is the year for female development. However, the organization could not divulge the percentage of its budget dedicated to the women's game. It says the growing popularity of the Protea women's team could spur on development. We have the Proteus ladies now and um, they also now professional. So that's why we get it, get in the interest now in ladies playing cricket. Cricketing hubs for boys and girls have recently been opened in the province, but only time will tell whether those will produce the Northern Cape's next international player. Neo Budumela, SABC News, Kimberley.